like Singer already mentioned uh, those in Sucer already four years, I guess, even more. And yeah, today I want to present you GitOps to show how it works, what is it, and uh, particularly show one tool uh, for GitOps called Argo CD. Uh, I hope in future I will show other uh, Argo project tools like workflows, rollouts, and so on. But yes, entry point for all those stuff is Argo CD. Uh, in general, I want those to be a chat, not just a presentation. So don't hesitate to interrupt me, ask questions. And uh, during my presentation, I will show you uh, how to install it, what is it. And as you can see, we use uh, Vim uh, to configure everything in real time to show you how it's working. Also, GSH um, and uh, K9S, something like this one. Uh, this uh, UI tool, uh, terminal UI tool for uh, uh, interrupt and work with uh, Kubernetes. Uh, so, yeah, I guess let's start. Uh, so, our agenda will be I will explain what GitOps is. Uh, then we will install Argo CD, uh, show how it is installed, a couple of tricks uh, done due installation. Uh, also, after this one, we will move into practical usage. We'll show what application is, uh, how it's, everything is working, core concepts. Uh, show you a neat thing called App of Apps to build and bootstrap your cluster from like from zero to hero, I called. Uh, and uh, yeah. User management and uh, sync waves. Also, in the end, we'll show a couple of tips, a uh, couple of tips and tricks. Uh, you know, I hope it will be interesting for you. Uh, so, GitOps was it? It what it is? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, GitOps. Uh, there is a nice site called Open GitOps, and uh, during, like according to the site, GitOps is software development methodology, and the more main part here is. It is the single source of truth. Uh, so GitOps has all advantages of ordinary Git, like version control. But on top of those, it uh, adds some neat stuff, uh, like those principles uh, for them, uh, like declarative, uh, also versioned. Uh, it is pulled automatically and reconciled uh, continuously. What does it mean? That we configured everything as a code like <laughs> DevOps should do. Uh, also, it is inside of Git, like already mentioned. Uh, so you can check all those uh, history, uh, when it was applied, by whom it was applied, in case of any troubles, you can revert everything and so on. It is pulled automatically, meaning everything is inside of Git, uh, is uh, automatically installed inside of Kubernetes. Uh, also, like continuously considered, meaning that everything is Git uh, should be installed inside of Kubernetes, meaning one-to-one, uh, -one, uh, no exceptions. Uh, and uh, the great tool uh, for GitOps is Argo CD. Uh, Argo CD is uh, part of Argo project family. It consists of Argo CD itself. Previously, it has notification separation, but right now Argo CD and notification are combined into one thing. Uh, it has Argo rollouts. It's for uh, able to run blue greens in uh, GitOps world. Also has Argo events and Argo flows. Events something like advanced web hooks and workflows uh, something like Jenkins. It's the tool for running uh, Kubernetes native workflows. Uh, but today we will focus our attention in Argo CD. And uh, yeah, hopefully in future I will show you other stuff. Uh, so Argo CD, how it is installed. Uh, as ordinary application inside of Kubernetes, we are using Helm to install everything there. Uh, you can get the whole list of values uh, using the link below. Uh, so they have like official uh, Helm values, Helm repository. And they are all sync you need all the uh, values you need to have to minimal install, like shown in here. Uh, so Argo CD itself consists of few things. Uh, for example, 
it consists of DEX. It's for single sign on, but we don't use it. We will use our local uh, accounts, so we will disable those. Uh, for server, we are like using uh, Ingress uh, with uh, Ingress uh, class name and Jinx and uh, other stuff. Like uh, why it has HTTPS uh, false and extra args insecure. By default, Argo server itself is using HTTPS, but we don't want it in this demo, at least because we have SSL termination at our uh, Nginx ingress. So we are just disabling everything there. So uh, HTTPS will be working uh, before Nginx and after it will be using HTTP. Uh, and another, another stuff was to mention here, just for example, and you will get those uh, pretty soon, uh, repo creds and repository. So when you're like installing Argo CD, you have ability to configure everything, including uh, provisioning of those uh, Argo CD installation, not just install it, but also have some configs there. And because it's using uh, GitHub, GitLab or whatever, uh, some Git server you know, to get files, you need uh, to configure credentials. Uh, here you can see those credentials in use. Uh, we will use those uh, later. Uh, but uh, worth to mention that you can configure everything here. No manual interruption should be done. And uh, in practice, it will look like this one. Uh, so we have Argo CD install. And uh, inside here, we have those values. It a bit right now extended. I will uh, explain every step later. Uh, but now all you need to know is that it has some ingress. Uh, and uh, it has some dependencies, like here, yeah, repocrets, like I already mentioned. I used external secrets for this one. Uh, external secret will generate just ordinary secret, uh, the one I showed here, repocrets. Uh, after installation, Argo CD will look like this. Uh, just uh, UI also was mentioned that Argo CD has a CLI, so you can interrupt everything. Uh, so everything you do, you can do with with the UI. You can do also with the CLI. So need for some automation, if needed. And uh, the thing I was talking right now about those repo credentials. Uh, what those repo credentials and what is repository? Uh, so we are able to configure it, uh, like uh, we can configure everything via UI, but via DevOps we want have everything inside of uh, code. Uh, so we are generating those secrets. Uh, what those secrets actually do? Uh, so uh, we can add some credentials template, like here. Uh, it will be checking for the null project. And uh, then we add, uh, and as you can see here, that those credentials has SSH, SSH key uh, inside of it, like here. So one SSH key will be used for all um, repositories inside of those the null project group. Uh, like here, uh, as you can see, like uh, starting with the null project and uh, then your uh, rep will be a Kubernetes. As you can see, it was successfully connected, meaning we can create applications based on those Kubernetes git. And uh, I guess we can actually install those. And let's move to actually application. I promise you it will make some sense here. Uh, so application, what is, it, what is this? Uh, Argo CD by itself installed some uh, CRDs. I can actually show you. Uh, so CRD. So application related Argo. So it's installed a, a CRD for application, application set and application projects. As you can see right now, we don't have any applications inside of our cluster, uh, but we can install those. So application will look like this moment, application. Uh, what does it consist? So the name of the application that will be installed, uh, finalizers will be talked in a moment. Uh, the project again will be talked in a moment, but the main part here is the source. So Argo CD will search for this repository, for this path in this branch. Uh, it will try to search for uh, dev 
YAML files. And after this one, it will install everything inside of our Kubernetes. So Argo itself uh, has the ability to install uh, different, as, as you can see here, different applications into different servers. But for this demo, we will use only one uh, Kubernetes server. Uh, Kubernetes uh, meaning uh, like the one Argo is already installed. Uh, it's as you can see here that those Kubernetes repository and I already inside of those Kubernetes repository, Argus D will try to search for revision master already in revision master. Uh, their values will be this one. So just uh, simple uh, dev values for Helm. As you can see, uh, it has those boilerplate, uh, chart YAML, and all of those structure, as you can see here, dev YAML, chart YAML, and templates is uh, actually not uh, Argo CD, but uh, Helm. Uh, and in this case, you are able to create some like a uh, couple of application that you can move on and update and so on. As you can say, I have a couple of those, like Argo CD itself. Uh, again, I can show you that Argo CD itself consists with chart. We are using default uh, Helm. We are using some version we have predefined. And for Argo, I already showed you, we are using some Helm values. Same here for those service called NTFI, uh, NTFI, I, IRC, whatever. Uh, it's a service for uh, publishing messages. Uh, so what those applications will do? We can uh, actually apply those uh, application. And it was applied, as you can see. Yep. Pretty quick, everything is installed. So what is happening right now? Uh, again, like I mentioned, searching for this repository, this path, this revision, these values, these fail values look like this. And if you will check uh, our uh, templates, these values are applied onto these templates. We are like adding some persistent volume, config maps, deployment, service, and so on. As you can see, it's almost done. And uh, in few seconds, we will have our running applications. Uh, few words about Argo UI. As you can see, uh, Argo consists with health, uh, those uh, up health sync status, last sync, we are able to revert uh, everything in it. And uh, it part uh, that, well, it's already installed. So if you will move on, yeah, it is installed, as you can see. So. Only one uh, application has been added, and this service has been installed successfully. Uh, what Argo will do here? Uh, Argo has also some sync policies, meaning it will continuously check those repository for ch uh, for changes. A default e pulling rate is three minutes, but we can configure those. Uh, and uh, also, it has like, as you can see, sync policy will be. A, automatically pulling every three minutes any new changes. And if any ch new changes will be added, we will, uh, Argo will apply those. Uh, also, it has uh, prune resources. For some reason, if we delay something from our repository, Argo will see those. And uh, if prune resources is enabled, right now it's disabled, uh, those resources will be automatically deleted. So if Argo is adding us you know, some layer of protection. If you commit something wrong, uh, if you will not delay it by it on some resources and self self heal okay uh disable enable well uh prune is actually enabled right now uh self heal will be do something like this one i can delete whole uh deployment argo will see those deletion we'll see that it should not be deleted actually because uh inside of git those deployment exists and argo will redeploy those recreate the resources so even if something could do something messy with your uh, Kubernetes cluster, Argo will saw those and uh, will try to keep those state uh, consistent. Uh, so this is about application. A uh, few words about those finalizers. Uh, finalizers allowing us to delay some resources. Uh, so if I will not use any finalizers, uh, when I will delay application itself, Argo CD application, it will no, not delete uh, resources that those application created. But when we use those finalizers, 
as you can see, we can use those for ground and the ground relation. Uh, application will be delayed. Uh, so I will go into, okay. as you can see, I have one port, I have one deployment, I have uh, one service and one ingress. With those finalizers, if I delay those applications, the application is delayed. Uh, and uh, if I go in Kubernetes, it has been deleted. Uh, no pods, no deployments, no service, no ingress. The only thing left actually is secrets, but also can be uh, marked as deletion. Uh, so uh, that's about application. Any questions, maybe? If not, let's move on. Uh, so for concepts of Argos again. As already showed you, it consists of applications. Uh, application source type, we are using Helm, but we can use customize. Uh, target state already showed you uh, that if Argo CD will see change, it will try to uh, minimize those change, we will reapply those resources. Uh, sync, again, uh, if something goes wrong, sync will be uh, failed, it will saw those. Uh, Refresh and health and application health. If you're in some reason, uh, your application can start. Again, Argo CD will show those uh, and uh, you will see those health broken. Um, so you uh, as operator should check what is wrong there. Uh, and let's move on. Uh, so it's nice to have those application, uh, but uh, there is another option to help. Uh, as you can see, application is just ordinary uh, Kubernetes uh, manifest, meaning we can create applications of applications or app of apps, as uh, it's uh, meant to be called. I have those app of apps here and some templates. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, template we will be using, and this is values for it. So I will installed off of app of ours, apps sorry uh, again set manager external secrets and some sites as you can see right now in deployment i have only argos installed some in nginx and that's all nothing else has been installed here uh, but uh, maybe it would make more sense um, Wait, as you can see, I'm using the template uh, project. I will install Argo CD itself. We'll show you in a moment what is the advantage here. I will install the application called Set Manager. It will again search for this uh, repository, this pass, this target revision, these values, and it will install into a local Kubernetes cluster and a bunch of other things. So let's install it. Uh, uh, great to install Argos uh, DevOps. And it, yep, Argo itself installed. And now Argo will be adding those missing resources. Uh, Argo is meant to be run at scale. Uh, it has some options. Uh, so, again, uh, under the hood, Argo will use, uh, let me show you, uh, Argo, I'm sorry, Argo CD. Deployment, Argo CD will use application set, notification, uh, Redis, and repo server. So you can move Redis to HA, uh, high availability, or actually move Redis somewhere else, add some resources to Argo CD, so it can handle a lot, uh, to be honest. Uh, as you can see, it's like installing this one. Uh, Secrets also is installing, Set uh, manager, Cluster issue missing. Okay. Okay. We will check it a bit later. External secrets installed. Argo CD. So as you can see, another uh, option here. For example, in Set Manager, I can check for application, and inside of application I have div, and I have compo div uh, showing what is missing right now. So Argo is saying that it is missing this one. So uh, it will try to create it, and I will see if it is scan to create those or not. Then I will debug what is the. Oh no, it has been installed. So, 
everything is working now as it should. Uh, again, application set manager. We can check what is missing here. If some labels are missing, okay, Argo will add those. As you can see, uh, so a couple of things about Argo CD itself and Argo uh, CD apps, as you can uh, see in previous examples, for example, I don't know, set manager. Uh, set manager has auto sync enabled and prune disabled, uh, prune uh, actually right now uh, disabled. We can enable those and self health is enabled. Uh, but for Argo CD application itself, uh, it's good practice to have disabled auto sync, uh, as you can see inside of my uh, values. For Argo CD, I don't use any sync options. Here I'm using those. For Argo CD, I don't use any of those. Uh, meaning that uh, Argo CD is like central point, and I don't want to do uh, it uh, done some bad stuff. So I'm as the operator I'm like responsible after changing some applications level uh, to go here and sync those. We can actually sync those right now as it was synced. But for ordinary applications, we have those uh, auto sync enabled, meaning I hope Argo will fix everything needed. Uh, so yeah, that's up of apps. Uh, another again option here. As I showed with those finalizers, uh, be aware that uh, if I will delay those Argo CD applications, it will delay uh, those applications as well. So meaning it will delay those in Cascade. So be aware. Uh, as I mentioned previously, Argo is able to install the application into different clusters. So don't get a uh, situation when you have only one Argo CD application that installing everything inside of development cluster, like staging cluster, production cluster, with, because if something goes wrong with those applications and it will be, I don't know, restarted for deletion or whatever, it will delete all those cascade applications, meaning you will lose all your applications in production, for example. So be aware. Uh, at least have those prune options disabled here. Uh, let's move on. Uh, so, Again, another thing worth to mention, it's not about Argo, but merging values. Uh, it's more about Helm charts. Uh, for example, I have this site, and in this application called Dejana, and I will show you in a moment, I have, I'm sorry, uh, these values, uh, these values, and uh, these values. So I have values, like center values, I have dev, dev uh, values and product values, and those are merging one about uh, each other. Uh, how it's done? So if I will go for the demo, now complete values well, like this one. The, as you can see, uh, inside of values, I have replica zero. I have domain changing me. And I imagine those with their values. So I'm asking Helm to install a Helm values and then asking to, on top of those to install their values. As you can see, inside of replicas, I have one replica. And for uh, service, for ingress, I will have a moment uh, this host, Legend of the Null Systems. And if I will do the same for production, let's see what happens. Hold. It is merging now. It has two replicas, and the uh, domain is actually digital.com. Inside of Argo CD application, it will look like this. I have digital and meaning values file. The starting like the first element of uh, is values file, then the values. Meaning Argo CD right now we are able to render everything correctly, and we will have our dev uh, dev values match with LS file. In practice, it will look like Dejaner, as you can see, Dejaner Dino Systems, Ingress, and the site is working. Uh, so again, not directly about RBCD, but worth to mention how you can uh, manage everything and uh, uh, one application, uh, having their values and uh, to reduce, uh, reduce number of values inside of 
YAML files, you can those use those merging stuff. And uh, let's move on. Now about few words about user management. Uh, right now, I'm inside of Argo CD as admin, and uh, it's not good to give developers or whatever uh, full admin access because I mean I can delay those Argo CD applications, which is bad. Uh, so we can uh, have users uh, here and how its users are working. Uh, Helm values have those policies. Uh, Helm values for installing Argo CD has those policies, policies CSV, and those policies CSV consist of such a format of policies. Uh, and here I'm defining some role. I'm defining what role can do. Uh, so I can, those role uh, can create applications inside of project called the null. And uh, project and all applications inside of those projects and so on, I can uh, get, I can overwrite, I can sync, I can uh, restart deployments uh, and so on. And then I assign those role uh, to user called Shellshock. And another thing was to mention, uh, previously Argo CD, and are I have their values. So this is the policies. And here I also had some two uh, fields in the config called I need to create a Shellshock account. And those Shellshock account has able to login, has able to create IP keys, and also it is enabled. Uh, as you can check on templates, charts, templates, secrets. Uh, this is like secrets. Uh, Argo CD will use those uh, secrets for yeah, getting some passwords. Again, I'm using external secrets, and here I'm adding some password for admin and also password for, for Shellshock. Uh, you can create those users locally or using uh, Argo CLI, but again, we are DevOps. We need to have everything inside of our version control. This is how it, uh, I do it. And what does it mean in general? Uh, I have some project. I will show you in a moment what it, it is. I have some user already created. I can actually check Argo CD account list like this one. Yeah, admin shell shock already installed. And I have some user inside of external secrets. Um, for external secrets, you can use uh, in this example, I'm using uh, values from. Uh, GitLab, okay, you can use uh, HashiCorp Vault, uh, whatever, whatever it works for you. And now uh, when I will log out and we'll try to begin. Yep, I can see only one side. Why, why so? Because only this application is inside of project denull. And here, as you can see, I can sync it. I can delete something if I need it. As if I remember, I can delete. Yep, I can delete. Uh, but right now, as you can see, I cannot see none, none of those system applications. Uh, again, which is neat. You can have uh, divide your commands into like subgroups, subcommands, like leads, developers, creating, whatever. Uh, it also has read only access built in if needed. Uh, so I will switch back to admin account. Uh, and another thing worth to mention is, uh, so yeah, that's uh, how user management is working. Uh, it has actually, pre uh, you can go pretty deep with those applications. You can fi fine tune it. Uh, and uh, just to get the point, I showed you on this one. Uh, but if you want to check more, there is a link and uh, you have ability to like here, actions, applications, deployments, restart, you have ability to work with uh, uh, Coop API uh, resources directly. Uh, and about projects, as already I showed you, uh, Argo CD has projects. Uh, it's used to uh, fine tune those uh, permissions. Uh, again, when my project is inside of Argo CD itself, uh, it is installed by using Argo applications. Yeah, 
this is the project and I have complete for this one. Our, our project. Uh, and uh, this user I is assigned to this project. Uh, this project, the only interesting part of this project actually is you can uh, have different destinations, meaning, for example, you have different Kubernetes clusters, one for development environment, one for production environment, and you can uh, tune which users have ability to do in which servers, in which Kubernetes server, which is also pretty good. So you don't allow KTM not to delay applications in production. Uh, and for uh, one more thing about applications, uh, as you can see here, I have labels. I touch like infra label and uh, this one here has application label. We can sort those here. I can show only infra label and I can show only application label. Again, if you have ton of uh, resources, it will be need to have those here. And uh, the last one, uh, I guess, will be a sync hooks, and I will show you what does it mean. So Argo CD, as name shows, is CD uh, application, not CI, but CD, meaning it will deploy everything. And during deployment of complex applications, usually uh, we need to do extra steps. For example, database migration should be done before application is synced like new code has been deployed. And Argo, again, has some option for this one. Uh, so you are adding some annotations. In annotations, you have ability to set pre-sync, post-sync, sync and sync fail. So meaning pre-sync will run before application code has been deployed, post-sync after. Sync meaning it will be uh, running uh, at the same time as new code is deployed and sync failed for some cleanup resources if something goes wrong. And uh, usually you are adding those annotations for jobs. And in my example, I will show you here. So I have uh, degener.com and here I have some job with those pre-sync and post-sync like this one, for example, let's check pre. Pre will, because this uh, site is pretty simple, I don't need any migrations, but I can show you what this uh, means to. So I have the general com. If I will press sync, those sync will trigger those pre and post. As you can see, yeah, pre is running. Running pre, it will wait. It's simple one. It will just sleep for seven seconds. Uh, Pre completed after this one, uh, the code will be uh, updated, but we don't have any new code here, meaning it will just trigger those posts. Again, as you can see here, if code has not been deployed, sync will trigger those uh, pre and post. So be aware of those. Those will be running always on sync status. And tips and tricks. Uh, so, I will uh, show you another one. Uh, so a few uh, neat tricks that you can do. Uh, this one, uh, if you have some I don't know, uh, need to delete some application and it is stuck for some reason, usually it's stuck because of those finalizers. And this command will allow you to patch those application, uh, deleting those finalizers from metadata, meaning unblocking it from deletion, but be aware that after this one, after you delete those finalizers, you need to check if those resources have been deleted or not. If not, please delete those manually. Uh, another one, Argo CLI, as I showed you, has ability to uh, like log in, uh, not using like password and user, but uh, talking directly into Kubernetes resources, meaning you need to switch to Argo CD and namespace, or whatever namespace you install to Argo CD, then you will have Argo CD account list core. And instead of going uh, through ingress and all of those resources, those will be talking to, into Kubernetes API directly. Uh, if for some reason your uh, Argo CD doesn't have ingress, for example. Uh, another one, you can create uh, users, uh, you can update those passwords. And if for some reason you forget your admin password, you can reset those. Uh, another 
it's interesting thing here if you delete password uh, from uh, those uh, secret Argo will uh, create those password by uh, name of the pod of the uh, Argo CD API server pod uh, and this one uh, how you can set those password by yourself as you can see it's using Bcrypt here you can disable admin again admin enabled to false in Argo um, config map uh, for example another one you are like deploying something and in the middle of deployment you saw that something goes wrong you commit something badly you can terminate those things and as you can see sync failed showing that indeed something bad happened here uh, you can fix it you can push into git and hopefully it will be fixed but it's on your responsibility and uh, the phone polling, polling is three minutes and we can change it to like one minute or so as far as i remember even with a huge scale github will not ban you uh, because of those polling, polling rates but just be aware uh, that you know it's using polling it's not using webhooks or whatever so if you have like i don't know 1000 applications it meaning it will be run uh those 1000 sync in every three minutes. Uh, and uh, another one, I guess I can show you also. In case of if, you, if you need to do something, to do some testing or whatever, for example, if I will change, I can show you, if I will change those replica set, uh, I mean deployment, deployment replicas to, for example, Boom, we'll save it. Argo CD will create those and immediately, as you can see, delay those because it's not as the same as inside of Git repository. To it's usually for testing or something, or you need to fix some I don't know, production issues or so you just can disable auto sync. And now we have ability to change those resources. Uh I'm oh, sorry. Uh nope, nope. Edit. And again, I will add the real records. And Argo CD will saw those change, but this time it will be not deleting because autosync is disabled. Another neat stuff uh, with using those autosync uh, disabled, you can change the target revision. For example, I need to test, I don't know, something here inside of those stage.com. I can create the values, domain, and add some like this one. And then I will create new branch. Uh, and inside of those testing, I will add those from domain here just to show it's uh, testing. Um, we'll push those revision. Yep, I want to push testing. And here I can change those into testing. Save. Argo will check if those uh, revision exist. And as you can see here, it will try to create those domain. Uh, the previous domain has not been deleted, as you can see. It marked for deletion, but because uh, prone resources has been like disabled right now, it uh, wasn't deleted right now. And after you press sync, it will try to create those domain. Obviously, uh, cert will be failing. Uh, yeah, pre, pre will take a place. But that's how you can do it. Or if you are like doing those uh, not in ASAP, not in Hari, you should actually create some pull request inside Argo CD application. Uh, sorry, uh, Argo CD application here. In and change those here. Then you will get a uh, pull request merging to main uh, Argo CD application itself. Argo uh, app of apps you will check for those resources and will deploy application based on those branch. And if I will move and may uh, change those to main, we'll we'll clean clean up our state. Uh, main. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I can, as you can see, certificate failed. Uh, enable auto sync. Yep. And now I went to run resources enable. Uh, yep. Self here. Yep. And during next sync, those resources should be deleted automatically. Uh, so that's basically it about Argo CD. I hope you like it. Uh, so feel free to ask me any questions. Maybe you have. Thank you, Bogdan. Uh, guys, if uh, someone has any questions, please unmute and ask. Yes, I have. Uh, thank you, Bogdan, for that, that presentation. It was a really good brief of, of this tool. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I actually tried to find the information about the license of that tool. Uh, as I understood, it's, op it, it's op open source, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what's mentioned. Yes, it's all open source. Yeah, yeah, probably uh, because uh, I joined later, uh, later, so probably I missed something. But uh, again, uh, if I don't have administrative access to Kubernetes cluster, can I uh, deploy the tool into uh, uh, my dedicated uh, namespace to uh, to deploy the application into that namespace exactly that uh, I have access to? Yeah, uh, Argo actually has those ability. So Argo by instance. I was like uh, avoiding adding those information just to reduce the scope. But yeah, Argo has the ability to install different flavors of it. Uh, the one I was installing, installing it is like full uh, application, uh, full installation, but Argo has minimal. Uh, also, it has uh, some scopes you can adjust. So in general, uh, the only Argo CD, like Argo CD sync will be checking, checking. If you have only one data, uh, namespace, as I catch those, right? You can install Argo CD inside of like the server and all of those stuff inside of uh, those dedicated namespace. And uh, also create every application you need also in those namespace, meaning Argo CD applications will be in this namespace. And if you need, you can install your applications based on those uh, Argo CD applications inside of those namespace. The only thing uh, will be missing, I guess, if it is limited Kubernetes cluster, you need to have CRDs installed. So you, if you don't have ability to install those CRDs, um, then I honestly uh -huh. don't know what to add here. So you oh, should uh, do those. Uh, oh, I need to ask or like uh, yeah. Kubernetes administrator to help me with, with that. Yeah. Uh, that ability yeah. to, to yep. uh, as you can, maybe I will show you one moment getting started. Argo CD by itself has the ability to install those CRDs. Uh, CRD. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so in general, Argo CD has the ability to install those uh, CRDs separately, meaning you can, as far as I remember, uh, one moment, uh, Argo CD, the values, uh, Argo CD, the values, and it will look like this one, uh, Argo CD, and as I remember, CRDs install false, it will look like this one, and uh, you can in ask administrator to install those CRDs using uh, uh, CLI. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, so it's decoupled, actually, yes. Okay, cool. And the last question. Uh, uh, did you know anything about the uh, main resources I need to dedicate for that uh, Argo City tool? Uh, you know? Yeah, uh, it's not much. Uh, I'm not adding those here. And as far as I remember, I don't have uh, a moment metrics cluster installed. So we will not answer those questions directly. But uh, right now, this cluster consists with uh, one uh, control plane, and this one is two medium uh, inside of AWS. Uh, sorry, now one moment. Uh, what, 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 what I'm trying to figure out is that uh, you know, uh, uh, we are operating with uh, our uh, namespaces. You know, we don't have an state access uh, to Kubernetes cluster. And huh? in most cases, we uh, are limited uh, in uh, resources for our namespaces. So, uh, uh, and uh, we need to, you know, uh, may 
like approve mm -hmm. uh, resources for our namespace according to uh, the application that we need to deploy it into that namespace. Uh, and uh, I'm just uh, wondering uh, how much resources do we need uh, for for that tool if we have if we want to have that in addition to our application uh, to work properly with with that uh, with yeah. that Argo CD. Yeah, got the dots. Uh, so default uh, resource limits uh, I can check it, but as far as I remember, uh, I was checking those. Uh, so Argo CD consists with uh, different things. To answer the uh, question directly, one gigabyte of RAM and uh, one CPU will be enough okay. for small, uh, small installation. But okay. uh, Argo okay. has the ability to install those pretty reduced one. So you can disable, for example, uh, notification controller if not needed. You have Redis okay. also roster, but yeah. So I, I don't need a precise precise value for that. Just uh, uh, mm -hmm. about uh, I'm wondering about your experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty minimal. So if you will, again, if you will have a thousand of those applications during sync, it will lag because as you can see, I can sync all of applications at once, meaning it will eat some resources, but not much. Uh, so to be honest, in our production, we have like 50 applications and uh, two RAM and one CPU is enough. For this oh. one, I'm using even less. One mm -hmm. CPU also, one RAM. Understood. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Thank you. Thank you a lot.